I did manage to speak to uh, Scott McTominay yesterday and uh, Rene, you wanted to ask this question about what he thinks he needs to add to his game to be more influential in Manchester United and this is what he has to say. If you don't mind, with a question by one of our pundits who's joining us this week, I believe he's someone who's worked with you during your academy days, Rene Mullerstein, you're familiar? Yeah, yeah, very familiar. <laughs> He told us all your secrets. No, I'm kidding. He, he, he was singing praises about you. He was everything positive. He was saying you were really hardworking, full of beans. So yeah, so the question that he wanted to ask was, what was it that you think you need to add to your game or improve in your game in order to be more influential in Manchester United? Um, yeah, good question. That There's a, there's a lot of things to be fair. There's a, a, a long list. But um, for me... Um, depends what formation you play. If you're playing with a number six, if you're playing with a number eight, obviously if you're playing with a number eight, you need to, to get into them score goal scoring opportunities and, and creating chances and making assists and stuff like that. And really being being a threat from, from set pieces. And then in terms of when I'm playing number six, receiving that ball on the half turn, receiving it on the back foot, playing through the lines to Bruno, to Donny, to Paul, whoever's playing in them positions, really, really looking for them and once you do the first bit, you get away from your guy, you've got a bit of movement and you turn, it's really trying to feed them passes through. And, and obviously I've had a few good ones with, with Marcus, with, with Dan James, with Anthony, playing that ball in behind. I feel like it's a big, big asset to have the, the big long diagonal. So for me, they're, they're a couple of the things which, which I'm really nailing down at the minute. You can check out that full interview on our Stadium Astro YouTube page. But you think that's uh, that's how you would evaluate him as well, Rennie, from a coaching perspective? Well, it, what I'm really impressed uh, about is the fact that how he started to formulate his answers and said straight away, oh, it's, it's quite a lot, actually. And that, and that, sums, that sums Scotty up. He's so down to earth. He's, he, he knows, and I, and I tell you, he's done tremendously well, you know, for United's coming in, a, a young boy, you know, but like I said, if he could add, you know, a, a little bit more cutting edge to the game when he's in possession, and he's mentioned that a few times, depending on what position that he plays, does he play a six, does he play an eight, what style, what system, and what opposition to play against. But listen, there's nothing wrong with his work, right? Defensively, he's very, very strong. He breaks up play and all that sort of stuff. He's, he's a good physical specimen. He's tall. He's very athletic. And he's already proven in certain occasions that he, he can be dangerous in front of goal and he can score some goals. He scored some fantastic goals. And I think that is something, if he can add that goal threat, that cutting edge in his passing to set, you know, as he said, as he mentioned, the, the clever passes into Marshall or Rashford or Greenwood, you know, or Dan James, you know, all that, usually utilising that pace, that would really, really add uh, a big, big thing to his game. It's very interesting because, Renny, you were there when he first joined the academy. I'm just curious, was he always a midfielder or did you guys trial him at different positions? What was he like in those moments? Well, when young young kids come in, and Scotty was, you know, when I first met him, probably was maybe eight or nine or ten years of age. And at that time, it's it what we what we did at Ben United at the time was all focused on skill development. So we all created a lot of opportunities for kids to practice all those different skills. Then we put them all in small sided games. So there wasn't really a, a sort of a structure to it. So everybody was defending, everybody was going forward. It's more when players get old or so by the age between 12, 13, 14, that's a little bit when the, the, the real identity of the player starts to shine through, whether you talk about a defender, a midfielder or a forward. The good thing with Scotty is he's, he's got such a work, work, work rate, such an engine. He's very fitted to play in the midfield, but he's already also played uh, at centre-back at some times. And, uh, you know, I, I'm sure that he could play that role as well. How do you think his development will be um, impacted by the arrival of Bruno and maybe a bit by Van der Beek as well? A hundred percent. I mean, uh, listen... For young players, my advice always for young players is look at the best players out there in your position. Look what they do without the ball. Look what they do when they're defending. Look what they do when they're on the ball. What decisions are they making? Learn from them, steal as much as you can and copy them as much as you can. So to be training with them every single day and have the ability to really tap into their brains and ask them you know, about advice is, is probably the best, the best coaching tool there is.